Hey YouTube, Kira Toyk here, bringing you guys my Yu-Gi-Oh! Battles of Legend Relentless Revenge booster box opening. Um, very excited for this set. There's a lot of good cards that were announced uh, these past couple weeks uh, for this set, including a lot of awesome new cards, including number cards, rocket support in the form of the Topologic and the Borload. Um, but I think also this might be the first time I've ever done a double box opening, so opening two boxes for you guys in this one video. I just you know really like this set and wanted to invest as much as I could, because I'm not sure how long this set's going to be around either. Like, you know, if people are going to pick up a lot of it, it's going to be more difficult to find. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. So we'll go ahead and cover both of the boxes in this one opening. Like I said, I can't recall if I've ever done a double box opening before. I'll have to recheck any of my uh, past videos and see if I've done that. But like I said, definitely going to be enjoying a lot of the different deck profiles I'll get to do for this set as well. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So if I remember correctly, the Seeker Rare is in the front, as you guys can see um, from what I've seen from boxes so far. But we're starting off with number 27, Dreadnought, Dreadnoid, uh, Banishment of the Dark Lords, Eater of Millions in Ultra Rare, which looks pretty nice. We have Raphael, the Time Lord, so one of the new Time Lord cards, and Kyoto Waterfront. This is the new um, hollow version of the old uh, Kaiju support. Awesome. Very, very nice. Definitely looked for, looking forward to these number cards as well to add on to my collection. I'll definitely have to do an update to that binder as well when we get to it. To pack number two, which I don't want to spoil. So I guess I'll just move the secret to the back and then go from there. Pyrorex, Altergeist Manifestation, Litmus Doom Swordsman. This is Bastion's card uh, from GX. Noble Knight Brothers, awesome, ultra rare. And we have Living Fossil. I think this card is so hilarious just with how it looks. Uh, for the, I think it's either for that or it's for dinosaurs, uh, level four. It might not even be for dinosaurs. It might just be a generic card, but pretty awesome there. Moving right along. So definitely do pick up this set if you're either looking for, you know, just hollow support in general, or oops, kind of, I've got to remember that, but I kind of spoiled it there. Uh, Phantom Knights of Silent Boots, uh, Imduck, the World Chalice Dragon, Unizombie, Ultra Rare, looks very, very nice. Uh, Cyframe Driver as well in Ultra, and Dark Lord Nastin. So I think Nastin was one of the harder ones to get, if I recall. So this and Ixgel, if that's how you pronounce it, uh, very nice to see them both reprinted in this set also. Right ahead, move on to the next pack. Move the secret. And we have Unending Nightmare, reprinted from Secret, Cyber Eltonine. Uh, Trickstar Narcissus. Now this is the most confusing reprint that I've seen. Either they, you know, ratted the card from something, or you know they just wanted to give it that holified version to go with all the other trick stars. And TG Wonder Magician. Good to see her. Easier to get. That just means a needle fiber warning to me. So watch out for that. And Brilliant Fusion Secret Rare. Awesome. We had the Ultimate Rare, Ultra Rare, and now I think no, did we have Ultra? I think it was Super. And now Secret Rare definitely looks awesome. I would say compared to Ultimate Rare, uh, right below that for sure. So so a definite step up from the ultra rares, definitely. So moving right along, pack number five, I believe. We have a meta eye on the Time Lord, one that was actually going up in price. So glad they reprinted it. Baguska, uh, Dark Lord Contact, so one of those spell cards as well. Cyber Dragon. And we have another living fossil from the same side, too. So that's quite trolly for sure. There. Pretty nice. So let's see how we do on this one. We have a Halon the Time Lord. So this is uh, one of the new ones. Is she? I can't tell if it's... Uh, what its face looks like on the inside. That's the hardest thing for me to make out with a lot of these. Uh, Summon Dice, I think this is one of Duke Devlin's cards to go with Orgoth. World Legacy Heart. Pumpkin Carriage for the uh, Fairy Tale deck. I don't remember what they changed her name to though. And oh, there she is. I was just thinking of her and I pulled her. Prince Zessin. So that's what uh, they changed her name to. I think for um, just that reason they couldn't use the original name. But awesome. Very, very nice. 
like I said, this is a great set. Just so many different decks to build and try out. So many great reprints. They really um, did a nice job with this uh, Battles of Legend. And I'm going to mess up a couple times like this too, but we got a Union Hanger, Seeger Rare. Awesome with the ABCs that were just made Seeger Rare. Iron Cage. Uh, Pre-Preparation of Rights. I think Preparation of Rights is also in this set. Born from Draconis. This is for Light Machines, so this might be a Cyber Dragon card. Can't remember off the top of my head. And Altergeist Hextia. This is the uh, ratted version of this card as well. It's going to be a lot of hollows for the binder, that's for sure, after this. What we've got Perform Age Trick Clown. Solemn Judgment. Nice. Uh, Kaki the Unity Star. So we have that star deck. This is from, I can't remember his name, but he was an Arc V. He fought the, uh, he fought Yuya in the second round of the, uh, tournament arc and, uh, used this deck. It was a very aggressive duelist for sure. Convert Contact, Ultra Rare, getting ready for that Neospatian support. And we have Metal Foes Mithrilium. So, very weird reprint for sure. I haven't really seen Mithrilium be used, uh, too, too much lately. So, very strange to see that reprinted. So we got five packs left from this side. Oops, like I said, it's gonna happen. Glass Slippers, Seeker Rare for uh, obviously Princessin is her name. I can't believe I remember that just off the top of my head. That was her being her name. I think it just stuck to me. Banishment of the Dark Lords. Uh, Iron Hans uh, works with Cold and Castle Stromberg. I can see that right there. Uh, sure of the Combat Star, because there's a fusion deck to that Combat Star stuff. And Gaia Saber the Lightning Shadow, an awesome Ultra Rare reprint. Still looks nicer as Secret, but if you're looking to get them, this is definitely an easier way to do so. Let's see how we do with this one. I can even see the car, but I'm feeling a Phantom Knight from this set, this pack. Foolish Burial Goods, another Idotin, uh, the Conqueror Star. Uh, is this a different fusion, I think, maybe? Uh, bottomless Trap Hole, Kaiju Files, and we have Glyph the Phantom Bird, so um, I just have to see Golden Castle Stromberg to know it's part of those fairy tale decks, so pretty cool there. All right. Let's see. Oh, like I said, I did it again without even thinking. They put them in the front, so that's so weird. Mithrilium again. But, you know, the altars might be cool, too, depending on what we pull. So, Nordo, the Morale Leader, Tenma, the Sky Star, Hayate, the Earth Star, uh, Iron Knight, and I, that's the end of the pack. I can't believe I was expecting one more card from that. But we're almost done with the left side of this box. Probably pick up the pace after we've gone through so many of them. And did it again. I will not mess up the next one. But Infinite Light. This is for the Time Lords. So I don't know how short print the Time Lord stuff is. But uh, interesting to see how these three traps will play out. Eater of Millions. Unizombie again. Uh, Neospatian Air Hummingbird. The text looks a little lower on that Air Hummingbird. If you notice right there. And a Cyber Larva. Actually, looks lower on that one too. I've got to pay a little more attention to these cards. See if that was happening on more than just one of those. But on to the right side. Remember this time. We have a World Legacy Discovery, Trick Clown, uh, Dark Panther, another Noble Knight Brothers, and we have, oh nice, G really glad I pulled this one, Topologic Gumblar Dragon. This is the one that works in the extra link zone, where once we get a lot more of the uh, rocket support in the um, next booster pack, Cybernetic Horizon. This card's going to be uh, so great with the rockets. It's even good now, but you know, just uh, much easier to get the extra link off in the rocket deck when we get the rest of that support. But it's also generic, so you have to remember that. If you have a deck that can get the extra link easier, that definitely helps. And after that last pack, I messed up again. But Orgoth the Relentless, Seeker Rare, Duke Devlin's main monster, finally printed. Uh, Solemn Strike, very glad to see that card. Uh, easy to get to. We have a Gabrion, the Time Lord. Now that one looks menacing with its face right there. Uh, Pumpkin Carriage, and another Trickstar Narcissus. I'm definitely liking this set so far, and we've only done one box, so definitely enjoying it. Uh, Altergeist Manifestation, preparation, uh, I was about to say pre preparation of rights. Uh, but it's preparation of rights. Kaiju Files, Perform Age Damage Juggler, and we have number 67, Paradise Smasher. Now, this in no way can be Duke Devlin's card, but I saw Dice, and that's what I immediately thought. I wonder if all the numbers, because I've only pulled two so far, if the new number monsters are Seeker Rare. 
but they do look cool. Sometimes they mess up with the hollow foiling, but those ones definitely look like they were done correctly. Summon dice, solemn judgment. Uh, another of the Time Lords, this is Mickey on the Time Lords. I think I've pulled different ones all so far. Uh, Kyoto Waterfront, and we have Monster Reborn Seeker Rare. Awesome. They made the Solemn Judgment and the Solemn Strike Ultra Rare, but they decided to make Monster Reborn Secret Rare. So it's been a while since I have actually think I've seen uh, Secret Monster Reborn printed. I think the last one might have been with the Legendary Collection Yugi, if I'm correct. Uh, here's a Cephalon, the Time Lord reprinted. Another Baguska. A Dark Lord Enchantment. A Iron Knight. And we have Dark Lord Excel for the Dark Lord deck. So, awesome reprint, too. This is probably one of the most hardest cards. Well, actually, I pulled this before Destiny Hero Celestial, so I'm still counting Celestial as being harder to pull because if you guys know from my Destiny Soldier booster packs, I've been trying to pull Destiny Hero Celestial so uh, much from all my different Destiny Soldier booster packs, and it's just not been happening for me. Uh, Pyrorex, Cyber Eltonin. Convert Contact, uh, Unity Star, and a Dragonic Diagram. So I thought this was the one Dark Lord card, uh, Dark Lord Contact. They look so similar to me, but it's actually Diagram and reprinted too. So for all you true Draco uh, players out there looking to get easy Diagrams, this is definitely the pack for you. How many packs do we got left in this uh, set? We've got after this one, five more. So we have uh, Aqua Dolphin, Iron Cage, Cyber Dragon Altalent. <laughs> I thought it was another Altalent. It's just normal Cyber Dragon. Full Metal Alchemist. And we have Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm Seeker Rare. Uh, I love that art. It, that, I was hoping to get a Super Rare in the OTS, but I'm so much happier that we got the Seeker Rare Dark Worm from this pack. Looks so much nicer. But then watch. Next OTS pack, we're going to get Ultimate Rare Dark Worm. So it's going to be another bigger want for people for sure. We have a Tenma the Sky Star, Torrential Tribute, uh, Earth Star, Hayate, uh, Windrose the Elemental Lord, and we have number 90 Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord. So another of the number monsters. I think there's one more left to pull. So we'll see if we either get it from this box or box number two, which it's already going to be a long video, but I know I like to watch pack openings. I'm sure you guys uh, will enjoy it as well. Just a double one. I didn't really want to split up the videos. I didn't really see a point to. Slash Draw, World Legacy Discovery, Born from Draconis, Sandion, the Time Lord. This one actually looks pretty big compared to the other ones, so interesting. And Infinite Light. I think I've actually pulled the... I can't remember if it was the second trap in the lineup. I think that's what I pulled compared to this one. But three packs left. I think I might go a little faster with the second box. Just if we've covered a good amount of all the cards you could pull, I'll just try and be a little faster with that one. Uh, Litmus Doom Ritual for Bastion's Ritual. Iron Hands, another Hextia. Cyber Larva. And we have another Gumblar Dragon. Awesome. So we pulled two from one box. That is cool. We didn't pull Boral Guard, but that's what either these last two packs or, you know, the second box are hoping for. But pulling two is definitely awesome. Just got to see that real quick. So that is lucky. I pulled the one I wanted, and I even ended up even pulling two of them. So I'm taking that. That is very sweet. I think I'm only going to end up running one, though, from the deck. If you can get out two, that's awesome, and I, you know, commend you, but still. Uh, Rainbow Dark, Foolish Burial Goods, World Legacy's Heart, Damage Juggler, and Gamma Seal the Sea Turtle. So, nice to see this. A secret rare version of this card as well. It's an awesome reprint, definitely. Uh, at least they got it right with the kaiju that definitely deserves, you know, the secret rare upgrade from this pack. And last pack from this box. Uh, Noble Nightmare Drop. Solemn Strike, uh, Wind Rose, Duelist Alliance. I don't know if I pulled this yet or not. And our last one from this one is Tornado Dragon. So another worthy reprint for sure from this box. But let's go ahead and move on to box number two. I'm feeling strong, so let's keep it all one video. I feel like if I were to split it up into two videos now, it would mess up my mojo. Um, from how I've been pulling so far, I pulled two Gumblar Dragons, so I'll take that. And let's hope this box is just as good. So, I think if, you know, I'll stop if it's a noteworthy or if it's an ultra rare I haven't pulled so far. So, there's the Wonder Magician. Now, this is the one I thought was Diagram, the contract, Contact, that was it. Another Brilliant Fusion, awesome. 
Like I said, I bet there's still some ultras. This is a huge set. I think 105 cards in total. So I bet there's some ultras I haven't pulled yet. But I've pulled plenty of Baguskas. Uh, Merlin, haven't pulled him yet. I'm just piling all the ultras, but I'm keeping the secrets in two separate piles just so I can see um, what I pulled from each, basically. Uh, Trickstar Reincarnation didn't pull that from the first box. Definitely an interesting reprint there. I know a lot of people are afraid that that card will most likely be the card that gets hit because of the Sky Striker Trickstars that have been going around lately and just being, you know, a big problem for a lot of people who want to play the game, obviously. Pre-prep. And oh, there it is, Borlgard Dragon. I'm so glad I pulled it from this box. That's what I wanted to pull. Awesome. I can't wait to update the Rocket deck. That's the first thing I thought of with all these cards. But I pulled Borlgard and I pulled um, Dumblar. I still need to pull some of the effect monsters to use. I just realized that. Uh, the Larva Worm, I can't remember what it's called though. But I need to put those in the deck for sure to run. To help it out. Solemn Judgment. Um, and we have Empty Machine. This is the last of the trap cards. I think I actually did pull um, all of the traps for the Time Lords. There's the Infinite Light, and, oh, nope, I pulled two Infinite Lights, so I still need to pull the one that is in between those two cards, so let's see if I can get it in this set or not. I know a friend of mine who's going to help me do the Time Lord deck profile, my friend Anthony, so if we can get those Time Lord cards, the sooner we'll have that deck profile for you guys. Uh, Cyber Emergency, this is for Cyber Dragon, new support, pretty cool, because we're also getting Cyber Dragon support in the... Uh, what is it? Cybernetic Horizon Booster Pack. So, getting us ready with all this other support, too. Nordo. And we have another Orgoth the Relentless. So, I'm all set to receive those Orgoth cards for sure. Um, for the Duke Gavlin deck, which, if I can get all this stuff together, I would definitely like to give you guys a deck profile for that for sure. I'd have to think what else I would use in it, but should be easy enough. Air Hummingbird. And we have Card Trooper Secret Rares. So they put that in there. Quite crazy, though. But a friend of mine is a fan still of the Light Sworn um, with Machine Duplication and Card Trooper. So the fact that they uh, gave us that means we have some hope to easily get and foil out your, you know, Light Sworn deck for sure. But we have Unizombie, Unending Nightmare. Was starting to say out the cards again. We've been through most of them. There's one of them that I needed. Hibernation Dragon. So definitely a good one. It helps special summon out your Link monsters um, that are the Dark Dragons for the Rocket deck, obviously. So you can basically get your extra Link faster. So glad that we pulled that. But we still need that Rocket Worm, or I'll remember the name as soon as we see it pulled. Hopefully. Let's see. There's Doom Swordsman. And Hextrude, so this is actually the first one of this. I don't think I pulled any of her from my uh, last box, but I did pull, you know, Princess and got the name right, from that box. Now that I see myself consistently go with each pack, I just, you know, remember to put the secret right in the back. But another Madrot, uh, another Cyframe Driver. And, oh, another Boral Guard. That's so cool. We pulled double of the dragons that I wanted to pull from both of the boxes. So we pulled two Boral Guards from this box and two Gumblars from the first box. That is quite sweet. We get Boral Sword in Cybernetic Horizon, so I'm definitely going to be excited for that. Slash Draw. Another Wonder Magician. Another Gaia Saber. And Golden Castle of Stromberg. So this was definitely the hard one to pull. But glad we got it in the second box. Awesome. It looks so nice, too. They really did the foil justice with this Seeker Rare. Awesome. Glad we pulled that, too, because I think that might have been the hard card to pull um, of all the cards. I got to really look into what are the you know short prints in this set. Uh, Solemn Judgment. Dark Lord Enchantment. And another Glyph the Phantom Bird for the uh, Fairy Tale deck. We're winding down from two boxes, but let's see how we end it. Uh, Baguska? We're not winding down. What am I saying? Still got plenty of packs. Not winding down yet. Uh, convert Contact and Iron Draw. Now this works. Uh, actually, I gotta see what character, if any character, used that card. Because it didn't say any specific cards on the uh, card itself. Uh, Cyber Eltonine, Cyber Dragon, 
and another Tornado Dragon. This is from this box. We pulled Tornado Dragon from the last box. But I am happy with the doubles we pulled. Two Boragard and two Gumblar definitely make it worth it. Alkahist. And we have a Phantom Knight's Fog Blade from this pack. I think that might be my first Phantom Knight Secret Red Eye pull. Actually, I can't remember if I pulled Boots or not, or Ancient Cloak. I don't think I pulled Ancient Cloak. If I pulled any, it would have been Boots. But it feels so far back now. And we have another Cyber Emergency from this pack. All right, we've got, after this one, six more packs. So seven in total, including this one. Let's see how we do. Another Time Lord, uh, Hextia, and we have another Glyph. So there's my playset of Glyph from all these. Iron Hang, Wolf Burial Goods. We have up oh, there Ancient Cloak for the Phantom Knights. Now that secret does look nice. The color contrast with Ancient Cloak and the Secret Rare is definitely... Um, Something they should have done. Some of the ultras we received from Wing Raiders, I feel like Ancient Cloak could have taken that spot. But then imagine just how expensive Ancient Cloak would have been compared to, you know, prices with Breaksword when it got up to. Now that would have been crazy. We have Rainbow Dark. And in this one we have another Ancient Cloak. Back-to-back -back Ancient Cloaks. So we're going for that playset. <laughs> finish up this box. So let's see how we finish up with the last four packs. Solemn Strike, cool. Duelist Alliance, uh, Raphael on the Time Lord, and Crystron Quandex. I didn't actually know this was in this, but that is a good reprint. It's going to be one of the ones they use when we get Needle Fiber. So, like I said, with that and Wonder Magician, they are preparing us for that Needle Fiber. Calling it now. It's going to be Cybernetic Horizon. We're going to see that card there, and it's going to end up being the money card for Cybernetic Horizon. Litmus, and we have Honest Neos, cool. So we're getting some ones I haven't seen yet, but the Honest Neos and Seeker Rare, I think definitely does look better than the Ultra Rare for sure. Two packs left. Let's see if we can end with two cards I haven't pulled yet. I haven't pulled that Worm card, so here we go. Brothers, Dry I think I'd see these two together in the pack. We've got, oh, there he is, Triggering Worm. Okay, so it wasn't Rocket Worm, it was Triggering Worm. But this is the one I wanted to pull. This is the one I'm going to try out in the Rocket deck just to see how it works. But last pack. Now, if it's going to be like the Ancient Cloak and I pull Triggering Worm, triggering worm again, that'll be so trolly. Unizombie, Unending Nightmare, Nastin. Narcissus, don't troll me like that. And we have another Quandax. So we did pull a lot of doubles from this one. But all in all, uh, very, very happy with both boxes, especially the double Boragard and the double Gumblar. That is crazy. Plus, we pulled Stromberg from the second box. So I'll take that as a win. But plenty of foils too with the Seeker Rares and then all these Ultra Rares that I'll have to go through and organize. But I hope you guys enjoyed the opening. Once again, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Twig out.